Hi, Dr. Saxena, and I just wanted to share an analogy that I remember that I used to use almost 15, 20 years ago to be able to help patients and people really understand the difference between functional and integrative medicine versus kind of the typical provider visit that you get in the healthcare system with your insurance. So number one, I want you to kind of imagine if you're buying a house, okay? If you walk into a house and let's say you've bought it now and you're in this house and week one, you see this big wet spot on the ceiling, okay? So there it is, like a big wet spot on the ceiling. And you're like, oh goodness, that's a little bit of a concern, but you call some sort of handyman and he comes and you know fixes that patch and makes it look all pretty again. And then a month later, all of a sudden you're in a different room of your house and you see something similar, like this wet patch on the ceiling. So you call the handy person over again and you say, goodness, let me go ahead and fix that. I don't want this leaking into this room or, you know, it's rainstorms, whatever. So listen, if you're a consumer and a homeowner and this happens a third time, like, two months later or a year later even, you're probably wondering what's going on. You're not going to continue to wait for more spots in your ceiling to occur and then just keep patching them up. Listen, that's kind of like what insurance-based healthcare is. You wait for a disease to pop up and then you apply the appropriate band-aid, you go wait a little bit and whatever's causing the issue continues to go on and then you patch it again with another drug and so on and so forth. And you just do not assume that those things are connected. Now, with your own home, you probably, on the second time you see the spot, are wondering like, wait a second, is this something more than just two random times that I have spots in the ceiling? No, you're probably after number two, gonna call somebody to look into your roof. Like, is there something wrong with my roof? Is there some sort of plumbing leak that's going on? Is there something wrong with my drywall? Like, did I buy a house with faulty drywall? Or is my child taking a water gun and having fun squirting the ceiling and making water stains? You see, whatever the reason is, when you do a root cause analysis, you're going to address it based on the root cause, right? You're not just going to continue to patch those holes up. You're going to try to figure out, like, if it's a plumbing issue, fix the plumbing, the leaky plumbing. If it's a roof issue, fix the roof so that you don't keep getting those pesky, you know, water stains on the ceiling. So I want you to think about that when you're making choices about how to approach your health and well-being. Do you want to continue to be only reactive and wait for the problem to occur and assume that it's not connected? Or do you wanna get wise like you are with so many other parts of your life and understand that your body is so much like a house and when different rooms are having similar issues, there may be an underlying cause. All right, I hope that helps. Helps you really get empowered to go start looking for root causes with your provider. Take care. Hi, Dr. Saxena here, Chief Medical Officer at Form Health. Thanks for visiting our channel. Make sure to subscribe to get the latest insights and information on functional and integrative medicine.